Good day, students. My name is Dr. Michael Norman, and welcome to this presentation about computer science at the UWC. We'd like to welcome you as new first year students. Congratulations on completing your grade 12. That was a major milestone you've achieved, and you're now busy with your next milestone, and that is your degree. Our department is located in the Computational and Mathematical Sciences Building, often referred to just as the CAMS Building. It's a fairly new building. It's got modern infrastructure, well equipped laboratories, and it's located on University Avenue, which is in the North Campus. In this building, we have a sun lab where you'll do most of your practicals as first years. We also have a wind lab, which is adjacent to the sun lab where you'll do your computing fundamentals practicals. I'll speak more about these modules later on. Uh, we have a number of staff who welcome you to the campus. Our head of department is Professor Bagula, and we have various staff members who you'll meet from time to time as you study your program with us. We have technical staff as well, which will oversee the laboratories. In particular, you'll get to know Mr. Leonderts, who oversees our laboratories, and there's various support staff as well will help you with various administrative issues related to your registration and other matters that you need help with. You'll probably meet uh, Dr. Ghazi Askar during your first year when you start as new students. So what is computer science then? Well, it's a study that involves the understanding and design of computers and computational processes. In its most general form, it is concerned with the understanding of data, information, transfer, and transformation. Particular interest is placed on making processes efficient and endowing them with some form of intelligence. Computer science ranges from the theoretical studies of algorithms to practical problems of implementation in terms of computational hardware, for example, networks, sensors, and software, for example, programs and data. In its applications, it is often referred to as IT, information technology, or ICT, information and communications technology. There are a multitude of careers possible when you study computer science, and I've just listed some of them here. This is not a full list, but you can find employment in banking, telecommunications, mobile apps, programming, systems development, internet, various ICT projects, networks, databases, cybersecurity. There's a multitude of career possibilities for you since computers are used almost everywhere today, whether it be corporate, startups, or research and government. And of course, you're also welcome to study further by doing a second degree, such as an honors, a master's, or a PhD degree. So this, there are many career paths possible if you study computer science. This is our vision in the department. We want to produce leading and visionary computer professionals in ICT. Uh, we conduct high quality and relevant research. We'll speak about this a bit later on. We have various academic support systems in place to help our students to be successful. We have a number of cooperative relationships within the university and outside the university to enhance and increase our academic offerings. And we have various empowerment initiatives on campus. And I'll speak about one of them later on. The essential components we have in place to deliver on this mission is we have a quality academic program, we have competent staff, we have diverse computing laboratories, I've shown you some of them, and we need enthusiastic students like you. Now, our computer science program is in line with what we call the ACM and IEEE recommendations. These are international organizations in computing and they make curriculum recommendations which people internationally follow, so we comply with that. We also look at the ICT needs of South Africa, so we want to customize these recommendations so that we have a relevant program for South Africa's needs. And our program has also been approved by the South African Qualifications Authority. It is SACWA approved, and others, other people have looked at our program and they've approved our study program at UWC. 
Now the admission to computer science programs is as follows. We have what we call an extended or a four-year program where you'll do your degree over four years. And one of the key admission items here is mathematics at level four and physical science or life sciences at level three or information technology at level four. For the three-year program, you need mathematics then at a slightly higher level at level five. That's your mathematics. You'll come into the three-year program. And you'll also need other requirements such as physical science or life sciences or information technology at level four. But you don't have to worry about this. The admission system will put you into the correct study program, be it the extended one or the three-year program. So if you do computer science, the three-year program, then this is typically what you do in your first year. These are what we call core modules. In other words, these you must do. You cannot not do them. You have to do, of course, computer science called COS 101, which is problem solving, algorithms, and programming. You'll do mathematics, MAT 105. You'll do what we call computing fundamentals. I'll speak about that in a moment. And you'll do English for educational development as well. It's important that you have a good grasp of English because you need to understand, you need to read, you need to communicate, you need to interpret. That's all part of being a computer science student as well. And then you'll have one other elective. Um, there's various electives available to you from statistics, information systems, mathematics, physics. If you're unsure what you should do as your elective, we suggest you do statistics and information systems. These are important subjects to help you in your computer science. This is the four-year program. In the four-year program, you essentially do your first year over two years. So in this year, 2021, you will do a mathematics course, physics course, and you'll do introduction to science. So you don't yet do computer science, but in 2022, then you will do, for example, more maths, and then you'll do computer science 101, which is our first year program. And then you have various electives that's available to you. And this is similar as the advice we gave on the earlier slide. We suggest then that you choose, for example, statistics and information systems. So what is this computing fundamentals I spoke about? Well, this is what we do in computing fundamentals. First of all, there's a theory component where we look at various computer science concepts such as computer, internet, World Wide Web, email, hardware, software, file management, virus protection, backups. We look at the internet, we look at various um, local area network technologies, web pages, websites, e-commerce, digital media. That's what we cover in computing fundamentals and the theory part. And on the practical side of computing fundamentals, uh, we will introduce you typically to the Microsoft suite. We'll do Windows, word processing, spreadsheets, databases, presentations, email and internet. So this just establishes a good baseline. You might be familiar with some of these concepts, but this course will give you a solid base in computing fundamentals. So what then is your typical first year computer science course with us called COS 101? Well, what we do in this first year course is the following. We improve your problem solving skills before you can solve the problem on a computer. You must first have the abilities to solve the problem. We do various program development concepts. We introduce you to Python and Java as our programming languages. And the goal of the first year course is to design, to write, to debug, to test computer programs of reasonable complexity. So that will be your first year course, summed up in a nutshell. In your second year, computer science, you'll do algorithms and data structures, more algorithms and computer architecture. And then you continue with two elective subjects. You'll do computer science plus for example, information systems, statistics, mathematics, applied mathematics, physics. You will have two electives. You will have like three subjects in your second year. And then in your third year, you still continue with computer science. For example, with operating systems, computer networks, and machine learning. So with machine learning, you, learning, we're starting to take you into the fourth industrial revolution technologies. And you do software engineering, human computer interaction, and databases. And you continue with one other elective. So in your second year, you have three subjects. Now in your third year, you have two subjects. It will be computer science and, say, mathematics, or physics, or statistics, or information systems. 
We also have an honors program, which is once you've got your basic degree, you can continue with your next degree, with, which is your honors program. I invite you to participate in this as well. You're welcome. Um, why do honors? Well, a four year degree is sort of an international standard for a qualification in computer science, an opportunity to specialize in computer science. In this fourth year honors program, you only do computer science. It's often useful for what they call professional status and recognition, and will help you to gain entry to research and development and better employment prospects. In terms of research, we have active research programs with our honor students, masters, and PhD students. We have various scholarships and funding that's available to help students. For example, the National Research Foundation provides a lot of funding opportunities and our COE Center of Excellence, which we have partners, industrial partners, which sponsor students through that program and the other opportunities as well. Our current research initiative centers around these intelligent systems, assistive technologies, Internet of Things, advanced telecommunications and ICT for D. Our new initiatives and these largely fall within the fourth industrial revolution. These are virtual reality and augmented reality, data science, big data, cloud computing, e-logistics, cybersecurity. And these all cover areas such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, augmented reality, virtual reality, Internet of Things and robotics. So these new initiatives lie largely in what we call the fourth industrial revolution. We have an active computer club for our students to participate in and students often participate in various competitions. I've listed some of them, but there are many more. We prepare you for these competitions and you participate in. This is a voluntary activity. You do this in addition to your, to your studies and it's very enriching and it's very nice to participate in this club and this competition. These competitions can allow you to travel, to go. Like, for example, we had a team in 27 who came second in an international competition and they were initially taken to the United States for some training as part of this and then they were taken to Germany and they got the second prize there competing against other prestigious universities and the students with the little blocks around them, those are the UWC students, our computer science students who formed part of this team who came second in the supercomputing competition. We also have a, a body or an organization on campus which promotes the participation of women in computer science and related fields. You can join this also on a voluntary basis. It helps you with various information about scholarships, internships and opportunities. It gives you various guidance procedures for applications and other processes. It helps you with mentoring. You can participate in outreach groups and outreach activities. And there's various opportunities to network and it helps you with career counseling and various other things. So this is a group you can also join, a group called Women in Computer Science. In closing then, the study of computer science holds the key for you for a future in computing, IT, ICT, or what we call the fourth industrial revolution. Computer science will open doors into these areas. So welcome. And we wish you all of the best for your studies in 2021.